Good evening, people. Watch him at 65. I'm going to give you the same verse of scripture I gave earlier, which is 2 Corinthians 10, 17. But he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future. Was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. That's how we're saved, why we're saved, and how we're kept saved through his blood. His death, burial, and resurrection. It is grace through faith in Christ alone, period. Not of ourselves, not of works, at least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, you're saved. Not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus, protected by the blood of Jesus, rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time, and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you, lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, teach you, and change you if you want, if you let. So, um... I want to talk about this uh, article came out, actually it came out today, that interstellar object, uh, that Atlas, or I think is what, 3i Atlas, I think that's what it is. Because some of, a few people have written me about this and I was watching it and they came out with something else about it today. Um, so it says in a surprising turn, for astronomers, the interstellar object known as 3I Atlas has exhibited an unexpected and rapid increase in brightness during its close approach to the sun. That means that it could be, and this guy was on the Will Cain show earlier today, this is a um, scientist, and he said this thing could be alien in nature. I don't know. So, it says, first detected in early July. This remarks only the third confirmed interstellar object to tra transverse or to traverse our solar system. Following, uh, I think is Amuawa <laughs> in 2017 and another one in 2019. So, initially suspected to be a comet due to its behavior. 3i Atlas has captivated scientists with a with its high velocity and peculiar characteristics. Now, they don't know what this thing is. This is why I've been watching it. I did something on it a couple of months ago when it first hit. But this thing has been in the news all the I, at least two or three times a week now. And Fox News has been talking about it as well. And I've had a few people write me about it. What is up with this thing? I don't know. So originating from beyond our solar system, 3i Atlas was spotted racing inward at an astonishing speed at approximately 137 miles per hour, far exceeding the velocities of previous interstellar visitors. Is it fallen angels? I don't know. No one knows. Uh, this blistering pace has, has made it a challenging target for observation as it is approach, um, I think it says perihelion, its closest point to the sun, October 29th, a few days ago. Expectations were for typical commentary activity, the sun's heat causing ice to sub, uh, sublimate it sublimate into gas, forming a tail of dust and gas that reflects more sunlight and increases brightness. However, what unfolded defied any predictions. Using data from NASA's solar terrestrial relations uh, observations, known as STEREO, the European Space Agency Solar and Heliospheric Observation, known as SOHO, 
and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. GOES-19 uh, satellite researchers observed a dramatic surge in luminosity. Again, that means this thing could be alien in nature. So these space-based instruments were crucial as ground-based telescopes lost sight of the object. They can't keep track of it because it keeps moving and it's moving at warp speed. So they're losing sight of this thing. They lost sight of the object as it dipped behind the sun from Earth's perspective. So the brightening occurred much faster than anticipated for a comet at similar distances from the sun. Naval Research Laboratory atmospheric uh, Carl Batum's and Lowell uh, Obser Obser Observatory detailed in a preprint uh, pre paper noting that the rate far, far exceeds the brightening rate of most cloud comets at a similar radio distance. In other words, they don't know what the heck they're looking at. No one knows what they're looking at. This is why I've been watching it. I've been watching the article and listening. The reason for this rapid brightening remains unclear. Again, they have no clue what this is. They uh, propose several theories to explain the phenomenon. One key factor could be the object's extreme speed, which might accelerate the sublimation process or alter how material is ejected. Oddities in nucleus uh, properties like composition, shape, or structure, which might have been acquired from his host system or over his long interstellar journey may likewise contribute to the rapid brightening. All of a sudden it's getting bright. The researchers explained. Additionally, color analysts revealed that Atlas appears distinctly blur, it's blurry, than the sun indicating that gas emissions contribute significantly to its visible brightness near um, perhelion. This suggests active outgassing consistent with cometary behavior, but amplified in this case. Again, this thing sounds alien, but no one knows. They're baffled by it. Yet many aspects remain mysterious. Without an established physical explanation, the outlook for this atlas behavior remains uncertain. And a plateau in brightness, or even brief continuation of this uh, brightening, appears as plausible as rapid fading um, perihelium. So they're watching this thing and they think it's going to hit. Um, well, it says here, currently the object is obscure behind the sun. With Earth-based observations resuming in early December. As the paper notes, following is 25, um, October 29th, um, it makes a return to twilight and subsequently dark night skies over 2025, November, December, enabling more detailed studies. So they're still studying this thing. But what's interesting is that no one knows what it is. They do all that and no one knows what the heck this thing is. So all you can do is just wait and see. 
they're doing more studies of it and something else is coming out in a few weeks towards December. It's interesting is happening now though. Hmm. So we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna link this in the description box. If anything else, I'm like I said, I've been watching it. I've been looking at it because I'm fascinated by this stuff. So yeah. And the scientists have no clue what they're looking at. That makes it even more fascinating. So anything else comes up tonight? Let me see. Hold on a minute. I want to talk about Marjorie Taylor Greene. Now, I don't know whether she was talking about this particular thing or what, but she was saying that it could be that she does um, believe that they could be falling angels or whatever. So, you know, we don't know. Nobody knows yet. They don't even know. What gets me about the thing is the scientists are baffled, which I think is hilarious. But, you know, I'm going to link it in the description box and I will be back later. Thank you.